Hello, my sweets. Welcome back. Today, I share with you this super delicious local tomato stew that my kids, well, entire family goes crazy for and I know yours would too. So I begin by making my tomato sauce. So I add some tomatoes into my pot. To that, I added some leftover red bell peppers and onions and we're going to cook it until it is nice and soft, checking on it periodically. While that is going on, I'm going to go ahead and blend together some onion, garlic, ginger, cloves, anise seed, and rosemary, and we would be setting that aside. I check on the tomatoes. It has come to a boil in its own juices. I'll give it a stir and allow it to cook until it is nice and tender. When you do this, your tomatoes blend a bit more smooth. While that is going on to a pot, we'll add some beef to that. I blended ingredients all-purpose seasoning and a bit of salt to taste. Stir everything together, cover and allow it cook in its own juices. Today's special tools goes to Pamela Palo and Comfort Che Bafo from Holland. Thank you for always watching and engaging in my videos. And we are back. Our meat have been steaming now for about 10 minutes. I've just added in my parboiled cow foot. You may use any protein in this stew, okay? This stew is fully loaded, or you may call it all nations. <laughs> I then rinse out the blender, added that water. I also added some tribe. I told you, I told you, this stew is fully loaded loaded we'll stir everything together and allow it continue cooking and we are back to check on our tomatoes it has cooked nice and tender so as i said we'll set it aside to cool beautifully and we are checking on our meat it is almost tender so i added in the willy i add in the willy at this point because it's not too hard and i don't want it to become peche you know <laughs> so it is finally done we would set it aside and i'll separate the meat from the other proteins because that's the only thing we would be frying for this recipe okay although i'll be using palm oil for this recipe i don't really like frying with palm oil because i feel it makes a big mess when we take it out from the pot into a plate so i'll just use my favorite coconut oil to fry the meat until nice and golden like this and then we'll set it aside and then we would add some palm oil to the oil that we used to fry the meat and get started with our stew so to that we added some chopped onions and we'll fry for about five minutes or until it is nice and translucent like this to that we'll add some chopped habanero pepper and a bit of our blended up spices onion ginger and garlic give it a stir and allow fry for an additional five minutes at this point we blended our tomato mix and we added that we'll give it a stir do not forget to rinse out your bowl and add that water as well cover it up and allow it cook for about 10 minutes 10 minutes later, we're going to add in some shrimp powder, which is optional, and our stock from cooking our protein. Okay, shrimp powder adds an amazing flavor to your dishes, but if you're allergic, skip it and use mushroom powder or anything that your system agrees with. We'll stir, cover it up, and allow it cook for about eight minutes, and we are back. At this point, you can see oil beginning to settle on top of our stew, an indication that it is done or almost done. So we'll add in our fried meat and the rest of our protein, give it a quick stir, and then we'll We'll wake the flavors up with some thyme and ground anise. I added 
at the last minute because the flavor it adds oh i can't even explain you may add some curry powder if you wish are back as you can see the bubbles no longer has any foams around it meaning our stew is nice and ready <laughs> and my children they love their boiled eggs in this house so i'm going to add some boiled eggs give everything a stir allow it simmer for an additional five or so minutes and our stew will be done get your plates get your forks or wash your hands there you have it now all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and of course we're enjoying it with some white rice have you washed your hands have you grabbed your fork or spoon well join me if you've enjoyed me until now i do want to thank you so very much why not let me know where you're watching from and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe also share this with a friend or family member they may find this recipe very helpful until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all Sending money any other way, Tap Tap Send is the way to go. Download it today and use our short code Sweet Team to get a $15 bonus when you send your first 50. So the person you're sending it to gets to get an extra $15 on us.